The following program contains mature subject matter not suitable for young viewers and graphic images that may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's talk about the internet's worst ingrown toenail. Look at this video. So this podiatrist here carving out an area in the man's big toe in order to remove that ingrown nail. This was performed at a clinic in London. Miss Foot Fixer, as she's known, said the patient's problem was an extreme example of this very painful yet all too common condition. Mmm, mm. what's for dinner? Mm. <laughs> And joining us now via Skype from London is Miss Foot Fixer herself, podiatrist Marianne Yaw. Welcome! Welcome. So Thank good you. to have you. Hello, everybody. All right, first of all, because we are a medical show and we try to educate folks and no one wants that done, how does this happen in the first place when it comes to ingrown toenails? So there are many, many reasons why you could pick up an ingrown toenail. Sometimes if you wear those really pointy shoes and the nail no. curls in, that can cause ingrown Don't toenail. say that! <laughs> Don't say no, that! It's so pressure. Right? Right? I know. The pointier it is, it becomes ingrown. And sometimes trauma, if you knock your nails, then the nail digs in, uh, poor foot care. Um, but in this case, the patient um, try to cut his nails, and I think he missed a little tiny bit. And as the nail grew out, it pierced into the skin and caused the ingrown toenail. But in this case, why it was so bad was when I um, removed the uh, tissue that was causing kind of the the, the pus, uh, causing the pus to get trapped, and also cutting the nail back. There was a massive hole, so obviously the nail has been growing into the skin, and that was that's why it was so shocking. What is the proper way to cut your toenail so this doesn't happen? What you want to do is cut it straight across and make sure that there's no pieces missing. Straight across is the best way to cut your Because then it will grow yeah. straight out and not into the side there like it does with an ingrown toenail. Because we as dermatologists always tell people not to try to round the edge. Don't make that but diagonal. That's what, Just cut it straight across. But that's what they, like anytime it. you go to the and get a pedicure, they do do that. Alone. I've had a few in my life, and that, uh, that's exactly what they do. Yeah, but you it's have a, to tell You've had them. several. Yeah. You, can, you can say several. <laughs> he said several. He said a few. <laughs> but One, you. two, maybe three or four. <laughs> I, probably had, I probably had about four, but yeah. every time yeah. th they cut it back. And the last time I said, don't even cut my big toenail, because I, ex I started to get ingrown toenails whenever they would do it. So mm -hmm. tell your, tell whoever's giving you your pedicure or you're doing it yourself, leave a little bit of length, cut it straight across, because these do not, in general, don't tend to heal themselves if it's getting worse and worse, do they? No, once you have one, um, you can often get another one and another one, and then they become infected. So usually they don't resolve by themselves at all. So in this case, there was a pocket of pus that you had to relieve because it did get infected, right? Secondary bacteria got in there and formed around that ingrown nail, correct? Yeah, so this is what happens. If you leave your ingrown toenail, it becomes infected. And that's when you need to really have treatment like antibiotics, topical or antibiotics. And in some cases, even surgery. And if you're going to wear those pointy shoes, I've actually shifted, not just for prevention of things like this, but also preventing other foot conditions that Mary and I know you deal with. I now wear the wide toe box shoes where there's enough space for your foot to naturally lay flat because almost every shoe made nowadays squishes your toes together. And it's not only a potential cause of something like this, but a lot of other potential foot maladies. Thank you so much, Dr. Marion, for, for sharing this with us. Keep up the great work.